the last time you tried to go back to China, I mean, were you optimistic at that point that things may have changed and that the um, atmosphere might be more relaxed 25 years after Tiananmen Square? And you know, I, I, I'll mention, I, I was, I, I plead guilty on this, I was one of the journalists before Xi Jinping uh, came to be general secretary of the Communist Party who was very optimistic. Um, people were saying, you know, there'll be time for you know a, a more open discussion of Tiananmen Square in 1989. He's going to change things. Did you did you share that optimism? Not at all. Uh, every time there is a regime shift, it's not like a power shift or a, a road changing the uh, regime. It's just the one. Uh, it's just systematic uh, uh, changing the state, uh, the figurehead of the Communist Party. It is still a Communist Party. But every time when that happened, it seems very overwhelmingly promising to the foreign observance, like, uh, oh, something is changing because we're, we so much want that to happen in China. We want change to happen. Even the change of the figurehead of the Communist Party somehow, uh, somehow triggered that kind of wishful thinking. And uh, uh, there is no nothing else but using that ter that term to describe that it's a wishful thinking. We have we have, we have such a strong wish that China can be changed, but we need to know uh, is the is the is the system itself put Xi Jinping there? Me? Uh, so the system gave him the first priority of his task is to protect integrity, protect uh, uh, the stronghold of the power of the Chinese Communist Party. So he has to do that. And by doing that, he needs to oppress uh, uh, dissent in China. He needs to, um, he needs to uh, be a communist uh, a tyrant. Uh, so I did never share any of those optimism. And then I really want to uh, bring this up to, and then I want the journalists to write about this. Every time I hear people come to me and say, uh, maybe, you know, nowadays it's much more freer in Beijing. People, taxi drivers in the, in the riding a taxi driving can openly criticize the government. Well, I say yes, uh, they can criticize their government while the door of the taxi is shut. And then when he step out of that taxi, he will be as, as silent as uh, any other dissident who are silenced and all thrown into prison. So the government may have a a better uh, technique in controlling people uh, does not necessarily go like what they did during the Cultural Revolution time, but that doesn't mean they do not, uh, uh, they don't oppress uh, people's uh, freedom. And China actually has reached the highest number of the uh, prisoner of consciousness uh, under Xi Jinping's era. Uh, China is in the worst uh, time since Mao Zedong, since, uh, since uh, Cultural Revolution nowadays. And uh, that should be a wake-up call for the foreign uh, wishful thinkings. And then that should particularly, especially be a wake-up call for the United States State Department. Change your China policy before it, it is too late, before it comes to harm you. China, we, we often say the threat of China is far away, and then we decide to change the term and say, well, China is perhaps around the corner. China is in your living room now. 